Kids Fest online. I'm Miss Brenna, and I'm so glad that you're watching today. Let's start with a prayer. Dear God, I thank you for this time with these kiddos. I thank you for everyone that's watching this. I pray that we can open our hearts to you, Lord, and be with you today. We love you. Amen. So this month, we're learning all about how to be brave with God by our side. And last week, we learned that God knows who we are, and he knows exactly what we're capable of, and he chooses us to go out and do amazing things. We also learned about a young boy named David who was chosen by God to be king. Now this week, we're learning a little bit more about David and the things that he did. It has to do with this guy. Do you guys know who this is? Wait, you, you can't see him? Oh, okay, okay, hold on one second. Let's see if we can fix this. I think I can do it. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Okay, this is Goliath. Now Goliath was a huge, really scary, kind of mean guy. And David and Goliath had a really interesting interaction that brings us to our big idea. Let's see what it is. Holy guacamole. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow I can't, I, I can't, I can't believe that. It, he was, and then he, I was just, wow. He was, he, and then he was, hey Carl. Cassie, I'm so glad you're here. I have so much to tell you. Okay, calm down, what happened? The most glorious thing. Do you remember what we learned about last week? David becoming king? Exactly. Well, I just read the next chapter today and <laughs> Really, what happened? Well, the nation of Israel was at war with the Philistines, and David's older brothers were fighting with the Israelite army. David wasn't fighting? Nope. He was still just a kid. He was a shepherd, which meant he took care of sheep. I learned that because I'm a genius. So what did David do next? Well, he was told to bring food to his brothers, but when he got there, he saw a giant of a man. This giant's name was Goliath. That's right, I remember his name. He was a Philistine, right? Correct and he was a real bad guy. But the thing is, everyone was afraid to fight him, even the king. I can imagine. What happened next? Well, get this. David went into the king and told him, I'll fight the giant. David, the youngest brother, the shepherd boy? That's crazy. Right? Well, the king said yes, and David went to get ready, but he was so small that the armor didn't even fit him. But David didn't even need armor, because he knew God would protect him. Wow, that takes a lot of faith. Sure does. So David walked out in front of Goliath, and Goliath looked at David and started to laugh. But then David said, you come at me with the sword, but I come at you in the name of the Lord Almighty. So Goliath had a sword? What did David have? He had five stones and a slingshot. He learned to use his slingshot when he had to protect his sheep from bears and lions. Oh, I see. So Goliath was on his way to attack David, but David put that stone in the sling and swung it around just like this, released it, and that stone went right in between Goliath's eyes. David walked over, grabbed Goliath's sword, killed Goliath, and he saved all the Israelites. Whoa, I can't believe that. Right? The Israelites won. Well, yeah, but I was thinking something else was even more incredible. More incredible than Goliath being defeated? Actually, yeah. Like what then? Well, what was David gifted at? Well, he knew how to throw rocks with a sling. That's right, he was really good at that. That was his gift, and God used that. He also knew how to use his brains in battle. That's right, David was creative and smart. He used what he did know how to do to figure out something he didn't know how to do. So God used David's gift to defeat the Philistines and to help others. You got it, and I think it's important that we find out what our gifts are and use them for God. That's a good idea. So, do you have any gifts, Carl? Gifts? Of course I have gifts. All right, what are they? 
Watch and learn. really cool. Thanks. I know. I'm pretty impressive. Yeah, sure. So how do you use those things for God? What do you mean? I mean, all of that is great, but if we have talents and gifts and we don't use them for God, what's the point? I guess I never really thought of it that way. Yeah, we just can't forget that God is the one who gave us those gifts in the first place. So it's our job to use them for God. Wow, you're right. I guess I just need to remember that God can use my gifts. You know what? That sounds a lot like our big idea this week. You're right! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is a big one. It's that God can use my gifts. So on the count of three, we're all gonna say the big idea together. One, one two, three. God can use my gifts! <laughs> you did it! Woohoo! That's good. Today's lesson sure was fun. It sure was, but I'm kind of bummed. Really? Why? Because I never got to show my gift. Oh, well, it's not too late. What's your gift? I can disappear. <laughs> well, are you serious? Yep. You're telling me you can disappear? Yeah, you want to see? Yeah, I would love to see that. I would love to see you disappear. Cassie? Cassie! This isn't funny! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I have to go find Cassie. Hey, Carl. Ah! Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. That's awesome. God can use our gifts. He can use my gifts, and he can use your gifts. Now, last month, we learned all about the gifts that God gives us. He gives us courage and help and strength and peace. And he, ha and he asks us to use those things to help others. Now, David used his gift of courage. He went out and fought Goliath when no one else wanted to, not even the king. And he had that courage because he knew that God would protect him. It says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 32, that David said to Saul, don't let anyone lose hope because of that Philistine. All go out and fight him. And then he continues to say in, in verse 37, the Lord, he will save me from the powerful hand of this Philistine. He knew that God would protect him and God would save him when he went out to defeat Goliath. Now, David also had another gift. He took care of sheep. So he needed to know how to keep them safe. And that's why he knew how to use a slingshot really, really well. So he used that gift to take down Goliath. It says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 48 through 49, as the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly to the battle line to meet him. He reached into his bag, he took out a stone, he put it in his sling, he slung it at Goliath. The stone hit him in the forehead and sank into it. He fell to the ground on his face. Now, that is why God uses our gifts. He gives us these gifts to help others. And David helped the whole army that day. Now, do you think the story would have been different if David hadn't used his gifts? If he knew that he had courage and he knew that he was really good at using a slingshot, but he said, eh, I don't really want to help or I'm not going to help have changed the whole story and the whole entire army would have been affected by that. You see, that's why God doesn't give us our gifts for ourselves. He doesn't say, here's a whole lot of courage or here's how to use a slingshot. He didn't say those things to David and then go, but only use them for yourself and when you want to. No, 
God gives us these gifts, and he gave those gifts to David because he wanted him to use them to help others. Our whole mission is to serve others and to bring others to God. And that's why God gives us those gifts. He wants us to help others. And we know this because if we look at Jesus, who is the best example ever, he came and he served others. And he also died on the cross for us, which was the ultimate sacrifice. He gave his life to help us. And if we follow his example and we serve others, then we're doing what God wants and we're pleasing God. So that's why God gives us our gifts because he wants us to help others. Now, what do you think your gifts are? How can you use those gifts to help others? Let's stop and think about that for a minute. Now, one of my gifts that God has given me is teaching. I love to teach, and that's why I'm here right now teaching you about the Bible and about the things that God wants you to know. When I found out that I had a gift of teaching, I was kind of scared. I didn't like to speak in front of people, and I was shy growing up. But God said to me, Brenna, this is your gift. Use it, and I will help you. And God has given me the courage to teach, even when I was scared. And so that shows me that the gifts God gives us, he knows we are capable of them. Because remember from last week, God knows us. So God wouldn't give us gifts that we couldn't use. God gives us gifts that he can use and that we can use. And I hope that you guys can find out what your gifts are too. Now, remember that God knows you and will help you use your gifts. God calls us to be brave and not afraid. And that brings us to our memory verse. Our memory verse is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Let's read it together. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Let's try to memorize that this, this month so that we can remember to be brave and not fear when God calls us to do amazing things. Great job with the lesson today. Now it's time for some more fun. We are doing another Brave Challenge and last week's winners did great. We love seeing your smiling faces and unique ways that you guys do the challenges. Now let's hear about what our challenge is for this week. One, read 1 Samuel 17 with your family. Two, find a stone around your house or go on a walk to find one. Three, use a permanent marker to write one of your gifts on the stone. Four, keep the stone near you to remind you what David did and that God can use your gifts. Five, send us a picture of you and your stone to kidsfest at lakesidechurch.com by this Wednesday. Take some time to do that this week. We look forward to seeing all of your smiling faces. And if you win, you'll get a basket of fun delivered right to your door. And I'm so glad you guys joined us today. Let's close with a prayer. Dear God, I thank you for every kiddo that's watching. I praise you for their involvement. I pray that we can continue to seek you and ask that you reveal to us what our gifts are so that we can use them to help others. We praise you, we love you, amen. Now that is my hope for you this week, that you can find out what one of your gifts are. You can really pray about it and use it to help someone. Now it's time for you to stand up, get ready to praise Jesus and listen to this worship song. I'll see you next week, bye.
to your design You gave me purpose, so I give my life I'm giving you all of me